thank you, my King. Amen and amen. Amen. Um, yeah, thank you for that lousy honey clap. Mm. I appreciate. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we thank the Lord who has brought us back. God is good. Things have not been easy. We have gone through great trials and challenges of life. But also allow me first to welcome all the people who are watching us live right now. We love you. We appreciate you. Please feel at Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yes. Now, um, Nkusaba Mbade Mbulida sermons. I've been, okay, I've been preaching sermons during the lockdown. Great, great spirit, God inspired sermons. God has been graciously giving us the word. And I've had, I've got testimonies from all over the world. All the way from German to US, US UK, UK, Uganda, Uganda Masaka, e Masaka, Tanzania, Tanzania Philipp, uh, is it Philippine, Philippine? And Syria. Philippines near Syria. People are watching us in Syria. It's amazing. I, I was so amazed. Actually, majority of the people who are watching. Glory of Christ Church Kawala on Facebook and on YouTube. Most comes from Syria. It's amazing. And in Asia. Now. Ladies and gentlemen, some of you did not know that we have been speaking and preaching. Please, you can go and get these inspired sermons to build your life. You can, you, you, you can subscribe on our YouTube. Subscribe our YouTube, which is Glory of Christ Church. Uh, uh, Glory of Christ Church, Kawala. And also you can follow us on our Facebook. Facebook. Simply Glory of Christ Church, Kawala. Church, Kawala. At the same time also, you can follow me. I have my own uh, 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 account, which is uh, Pastor Hubbard. And also you can also follow us on Glory of Christ Church, Kawala, Instagram. No to go with the glory of Christ Church Kawala Instagram. And Pastor Herbert Chuanuk as well. Ne Pastor Herbert Chuanka. I mean, we are trying to use all these mediums to, to reach and to teach the word. Now, some of us who don't know how to use or to go to these platforms, next Sunday, don't worry, we are going to make it a point. We, we shall have some time teaching ourselves how to go there. Amen. And also, some of us, God has called us to be, a, to be uh, online evangelists. Do, do you know how you do that? You do you you do what Paul said in the book of um, uh, in the book of Ephesians. Uh, no 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 sorry Second Timothy. He told Timothy. And he said Timothy. The things you saw me speaking. Get them and give them to other people who will also qualify to teach them to others. Amen? Amen. I was recently reading the, 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 
Thessalonians. And Paul wrote the book of Thessalonians. And he said to the church, after reading it, make sure that you go to other people and read it in their presence. And also make copies and send it to others. So if Paul was here today, he would not have said that. He would have said, the things you have seen me preaching online, make sure you go there, download that message and send it to someone else. Share, share this message on your Facebook contacts. Facebook. Amen. Amen. So that way you are online evangelist. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. So therefore, in the mighty name of Jesus, allow me to share this word in just a few minutes. I'm, I'm remaining with 30 minutes. So I'm just going to use 15. And my interpreter 15. But there is something that you have been missing. It's not the word. Because I've been speaking the word every day. On WhatsApp. On Facebook. Facebook. YouTube. YouTube. On everything. But you've been missing what you've been seeing around. You have been missing this congregating. You have been missing that word which says where two or three are together, I am there. And if he's there, then that means he's going to answer. We are not going to go back the same. He's going to speak something. Are you ready? Are you ready? Now, you know, it's not so easy. It's not so easy. After all these times when we are locked down, to go, I mean, to know something that I should speak to you. I started praying from Thursday. And I was like, God, what do you want me to share? Because I know a man is made up of Words. It's words that give you a title. Words make you a professor. Words make you cry or they make you happy. Words build your attitude. Words break relationships. And words build relationships. It's by words that we enjoy weddings. We enjoy babies because of words. It's words that you are given a job. The devil will use words to pull you down. And God will use words to lift you up. The devil used the word COVID-19 COVID to bring everything down. It was a word. COVID-19. It's a word. It's a word. And after, after the word is spoken, it builds imaginations. It builds 
ideas and thoughts of breathlessness, of, 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 of death, of whatever. And I saw people who died. Actually, it's not COVID which, which, which killed them. But because they knew with uncertainty that the moment you get COVID, you become breathless, and once you become breathless, you die. I have testimonies of these people. Who died? Where I'm staying, the chairman got sick. The vice chairman went there to, 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 to visit. He did not know that it was COVID. After some time, the, the chairman died on a Thursday. On a Saturday, when the news reached the vice chairman that you know what has killed him it was COVID this man suddenly became sick there and then and died at night I was sharing with the wife you know my friend who sold us this place went, uh, uh, died also because of COVID he was my very good friend. Very good friend. He fell sick for two weeks. All of us know that COVID will not go beyond 14 days. But on the 15th day, the wife said, well, you know what, we need to take you to the hospital. Now they were taking him in different hospitals. Which, uh, these hospitals which could not detect COVID. So he was brought from Kachiri. And he was taken, was it to, there's a, there's a place, I think, case, whatever. They tested him. And they told him it is COVID. Two days was gone. But he has been able to, he was able to survive for almost two and a half weeks. Are you So we are sharing with the wife, and the wife says that actually it is not COVID, but it doubt was fear of the Because he was now fine. So the word makes you. That's why you come in the church so that we may speak. God told Moses each to tell Aaron as a high priest every year he must stand before the congregation of Israel and speak these words. Three times people must come together. And every month people must come together every on the seventh day. But each time they come, speak to them. Speak in this manner. May the Lord bless you. May the face of the Lord shine upon you. May you be great in all spheres of life. May the pandemics be far from you. May your enemies come crawling to you. For you shall be blessed in the city. And you'll be blessed in the, in, in the country. For you shall eat the goodness of the land. God told Moses tell Aaron whenever the children of Israel come let him speak because it is words make them 
God created the world by word. He sent his word. And the word healed them. I have survived because of the word. I live by the word. I boast because of the word. I don't boast in anything else. But it's the word. This word has become my life. This word has become my testimony. This word helps me to face the future. Because of this word, I am confident of tomorrow. Because of this word, I can laugh when a thousands are falling and ten thousands are falling on this side. Because of this word, this is my life, my light, my hope, my future, my strength, my everything. This. I have seen this word when it spoke to me so many years when I had nothing. When I had one torn shoe and one trouser and yet this word told me that you shall you shall fly like, like an eagle and you shall fly like a dove coming back to its nest. I didn't have anything at that time. Of course it meant flying out. In fact, the day when the Lord gave it to me, I laughed. Someone who cannot even afford to get 2,000 shillings. And here the Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, through his word, he's promising that I shall raise you and you shall mount on eagle like a wing, like, like, like an eagle. I mean, on the wings like an eagle. One Whatever I am, right now, God spoke to me so many years through this. And I'm not only speaking feeble words. I'm speaking the word that created the world. The world that is able to make you what you have never dreamt of. Don't be deceived, brothers. Don't be deceived. It doesn't matter what you are going through right now. It doesn't matter who you are. Whether you never went to school or you went to school, or you are sick, or you have no nothing, it doesn't matter. But if you have the seed of God, if you allow the seed of the word to fall in your heart, no matter what happens, it will germinate one day. The seed of God's word. It will not rest until it come to pass. I can see the sum of you are in despair. And you are saying you don't know what I'm going through. And I don't need to know what you are going through because even you, you did not know what I was going through. I don't, you don't know, maybe, I, I don't know even whether, maybe I can leave. You shall live by force. I 
I don't know whether I will make it. You are going to make it whether you want it or not. Because it's not by power nor by might. But by the spirit of the living God. I tried to become a parliamentarian, but I failed. Yes, the righteous fails seven times. But then, I asked the Lord, what would I say? The Lord gave me Isaiah 61. To be frank with you, to me on my side, it didn't make any meaning. And I was like, God, I, I thought you would give me uh, a someone which has points on how people can recover, on, 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 on how people should handle the situation. But the Spirit of the Lord told me that as I was be, as I was be sharing this, reading these words, the Spirit will, the Holy Spirit will reach, will reach to the, to that point of need in your life. Hmm? Hmm? The Holy Spirit will use that word to minister you, to minister to you in that very point of your need. Because I don't know. Some people have run out of business. There's a young girl who came to me yesterday. And she says that I was working but I was laid off. And now four months, I just don't know what to do. I have not paid a single shilling to my landlord. And he has told me to pack my belongings out. But she was smiling. And she was saying, but I know my God lives. And she said, she told me, I'm not scared. Even though the landlord has given me several warnings. He said, I mean, she told me that the Holy Spirit has given her, has filled her, has filled her with joy. We prayed together. And I know God has made a miracle. Amen. Amen. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, no matter what you are going through, or what this, what this situation has brought about, the challenges that are fighting you now because of it. They are not beyond God's control. In fact, I can testify that God is good to us and is going to be good in these remaining three months. So now listen to what the Lord has told me to speak to you. I'm not going to preach about it. It is self-explanatory. You listen, receive it, and act on it. This is what the Spirit of the Lord says. In Isaiah 61, and verse 1, the Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me. 
Because he has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor. He has sent me. I have come to you. To bind up the broken hearted and to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners. Omoyo gwa mukama katonda guli kunze kubanga mukama mfuse kama futo kubulira abawombe fe bigambe ebirunji antumi okusiba abali ne mitime jimenyese okulangirira dembe lya abawambe nabasibe okubagulira wo ekomera to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor in the day of vengeance of our God so that he may comfort those who mourn and provide for those who grieve in Zion. Okulangiri do mwaka gwa mukamo gwo kukirizibwa mu no luna kurra katonda wafe oroku wala ni ramu egwanga okusanyu sabo na abana kuwadde. This scripture was written by Isaiah the prophet. So many years before the coming of Christ. But one day Christ came. And baptized. Went. He was baptized. And went into the wilderness for 40 days. And he was filled by the Holy Spirit. He came down to the temple. And he was handed this same scroll that I'm reading for you today. Back then, it was called a scroll. These days, we call it a chapter. Because they are put in a book. But in those days, there were scrolls. So they would open it. And he said these words. After reading this, this scripture, he looked at them and he told them this scripture has finally come true before your eyes. People welcomed the word. But after that, they took offense. Mm -mm. But wait a minute. The words are good. But I don't think he's the one supposed to speak. The words are good. But I don't think this is the, uh, they can be fulfilled now. People took offense because Jesus said these words have finally come true. Before he said that statement. There were yes. Because that scripture belongs to the Messiah. Those days when the Messiah will come, everything will be good. You know, people have a tendency of thinking that there is a time when everything will be okay. As long as we are still in the body, we are still on this earth. When there shall be times of rain. There will be seasons of coldness and hotness. Seasons of tears and seasons of joy. Stop hoping for a, a certain time when everything will be okay. Uh -uh, every day we live with the okays and uncertainties. Every day we face battles and we face victories. When you face victories, rejoice. When 
you face battles, reconsider that even your brothers go through the same. This is what you have to go through. So the Israelites took offense because when Jesus winded up reading, he told them this scripture has finally come true to you. And they said, no, 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 no. We are still under the Roman rule. We are going through hard trials. No, those are scriptures for the millennium. In those days when Christ will come to rule for a thousand years. Now listen, church. This scripture was fulfilled for you. And even today, it's being reminded of you that it's going to be fulfilled now that the Spirit of the Lord has sent me to proclaim this good news that hard times are coming to an end until another season will come and hard times are coming to an end till they come back another time but right now the things you have been battling with consider it done consider it done it has to be subject to the word the spirit of the Lord is upon me he has anointed me with the ability to preach the good news that Jesus is here that Jesus is taking control that he is going to help you and then he says to proclaim freedom for the captives people who have been captivated people who are prisoners of fear they don't know what lies ahead what will happen tomorrow they are so confused they cannot take another step forward for fear of uncertainty all these things are playing around on our minds. We become prisoners of fear in our own mind, in our own making. We become prisoners even though outside we are free. But we, we are free prisoners on the inside. We are in prison. We are in prison. I can't do this. I'm afraid of this. What will happen of this? My marriage is crumbling. My job is gone. The landlord tomorrow is going to call. I don't know what else to say. Even whenever I hear any call, my heart runs out. Because I don't know whether it's the landlord or maybe someone that I borrowed money from. Prisoners and he said Nagamba. I will and to release them from darkness to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor 
But pastor, the year has come to an end. How can the Lord say the year of the Lord's favor? Ladies and gentlemen, God is a God of seasons. He doesn't need to wait up to January to claim another year. The things that you could not do for all seven Seven years, seven months. All nine months. You can do them within one year. I mean, within one month. One month. One month. One month. And you fall into God's basket of provision. No, God, I know it. I told people in the morning. No, 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 I gave them a testimony. When I Kenya. When I was going to Kenya. Because Maurice was going to preach. He was still training and I was 19 years old. I was one of, uh, I was in a group called God is Army. Led by Maurice Serrow. I said I must go. But you needed 30,000 to go to Kenya. Amagena na amada. To and from. But when you reached, you had to get uh, money for accommodation and feeding. But I felt my heart telling me you're going. I said, God said, I'm going. I left KPC. Where we used to gather from. And I went back to Entebbe. I told brothers, I'm going to Kenya. By then, when you said, I'm going to Nairobi, it was like saying, I'm going to London these days. They said maybe he's crazy. Last Sunday he testified that God gave him 2,000 and he bought a tie of 500 and a shirt of 1,500. I just testified the previous Sunday. God had given me a miracle of 2,000. And I went to the market in Entebbe. If you've ever been to Entebbe, there is the market called Kabubu. You just get a shirt and they tell you that is 600, that is 1,000. I went immediately to the market and bought a tie of 500 shillings and a shirt of 1,500. It was striped. And I went to church, tucking in well, putting on a tie. And then I testified. Now on Wednesday in the midweek service, I came back saying, praise God, brethren. I'm one of the people God has chosen to go to Nairobi. Do you have 30,000? 30,000. 30,000. But as I, was them, I said I don't have the money, but God promised. He said I'm going. I spoke by faith before people. After the service, a lady came. 
And said, uh, I'm so happy because of the kind of faith that you have. I feel so touched. I'd saved uh, one uh, 15,000 shillings. I want to give it to you. I said it has started. I said it has started. I'm going. When he gave it to me, I said, when you're going to Kenya, you need a passport. How do I get it? I remembered an aunt of mine that works with the foreign affairs. I went to her and I told her auntie I'm going to Nairobi I was chosen to go <laughs> I didn't hear that God told me because she's not born again you know you have to be wise you don't get precious things and give them to pigs my aunt is not a pig of course <laughs> Okay, life. life. So, let me rephrase this. This is what I mean. You don't get something precious. And you give it to something that is not precious. He won't know or she won't know it. To your life. <laughs> to your life. What you read? To your life. Family and family and we're very happy. To your life. Yes, somebody in Tegaza, our Uganda, our family and get somebody together. So, Katia. Okay. So, anyway, we know who I'm You have to be wise. Now, come on. Mugamba, but no, see. I got her. I got a passport. Could you follow me now? And she said, to get a passport, you need 60,000. He said, but don't worry, son. I'll give that to you. I knelt down. On the day we were supposed to go, we were setting off on Friday. Very early in the morning, I woke up. No, actually, on Thursday, I went to the internal affairs. Passport, waited for the passport up to 6 p.m. I didn't get the passport. They told me tomorrow. The following day, I packed my everything. God had spoken. Who won't act? If God has spoken, who won't prophesy? When God speaks, arise and do what you couldn't do. I woke up in the morning. At at six, six, I packed my clothes, my everything. I had 15,000 taking me to Kenya. I didn't know that you needed accommodation and feeding. One thing I knew he will provide. I went to the internal affairs to get my passport. At midday, I have to be in the bus going to Nairobi. I went to the internal affairs office. By 7 a.m., I was already there. 8, 11, midday, 1, I hadn't got the passport. Two. I said, maybe they have left. But I said, God, you've seen that Pas I've passport tried. It's the passport. Munana passport At two, I got the passport. They were sending a bus from Kenya to pick the ministers from Uganda. So when I got the passport with my luggage I went to Maurice Serra's office and to tell them that I was supposed to go but next time if there is an opportunity I'm not irresponsible it's the passport that delayed me you must do things wisely 
People might lose trust in you. Even though you failed to do it, go and explain. Explain to the person who you are. I promised to pay you but I haven't been able to get the money. That is why I've come in person to explain. They will know that you're responsible. So I went when I reached the counter, I found a lady. I saw people moving about. I was talking to her, but not giving me any kind of attention. Then I heard another boy running, coming, saying, What what is the reason they have not kept time? Why haven't they har arrived? I wondered who they were talking about. It has finally come. It has finally arrived. Then they I have arrived. Someone saying, You mean the bus has come? Then I found the bus has come. 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 Then I found the they hadn't gone. The bus had delayed. The Holy Spirit had held it. Such that his son might be born. As I was speaking on the counter, the bus came. I paid my 15000 And I said the rest will take care of the bus. I boarded the bus. Up to six when we reached Busia. Tuve Busia. Sige no kwa sawa sato zechiro nyia tuli kericho. By ten p.m. we were in kericho. Kericho. Kericho wanyogoga. It is super cold. Wabanga winter. It's like in the winter. Nasembo kuria egulo. I last eaten the previous day. Eche chiro che nasemba yo. The supper that Kusawa I had at 8 p.m. It is now 10 p.m. the following day. I went to the house. We passed by Anko Konjelu. People go to what to eat, but I couldn't eat anything because the only money I had was paid for the fares. And then the Holy Spirit told me, Check your bag. I've placed some money. It came as an, a mind. It was just, you know when the Holy Spirit is speaking with you? It's like you're speaking to yourself. It's like you're speaking with you. Like you're telling yourself something is there. And in my mind, I said, but poverty is so bad. I'm starting imagining things. I'm now imagining things. I said, no, I didn't put any money. We reached Kericho. And I got out of the bus. I didn't know that it was freezing cold. The moment I got out of the bus, I started freezing. Now, most people in Kericho know that people from Uganda that have never been to Kenya are affected by that coldness. And the remedy is they boil eggs. Now as the eggs are boiling, they give them to you to hold. They got, they got the boiling eggs and I held them, but it was as though I was holding ice. Now there is a brother that was sitting next to me. The bus, the bus was full of brothers from different churches who were all youths. Some were 
older. And the brother asked me, are you fine? Is this your first time to travel? Although the other man asked me, yes. And he said, I've seen. But since you're that cold, have you gotten anything to eat? I said, no. Now this brother I was with said, I've been to eaten anything. He said, no. He said, okay, sit down and have some. Now the Kenyan selling eggs told me that you can also eat the eggs. God provided. God had provided. After eating, and drinking tea. The brother told me, Why didn't you say that you didn't have what to eat? We didn't know each other. He said, Now that we are here, Kenya. We reached Kenya. But a voice kept telling me there is money in your bag. We reached Kenya. And we went to KICC. Like Serena. It's like Serena. And I heard people saying, those from Uganda. We know Westlands, You must register where you will be staying. And I wonder that now even accommodation needs money. Now me who is wise. I started looking at the Rwanda. Those that have ever gone to Serena. Victoria Mall. Victoria Mall. You know how it is outside. What conference? That we I said I will always be sleeping here after the conference. After all, I came to serve God. A voice told me, check your bag. I said, now I'm tired of this voice. Let me go and check. I didn't want to check because I thought people could even read my thoughts. I asked the Kenyan brother, where are the toilets? Toilets, is it called? restroom, and I said, toilet. <laughs> All the land say restrooms, no toilets. But I just said it as it is. You go down and this and then. I got my bag. I think people wondered why I was going to the toilet with my luggage. Not knowing that in the toilet I was going to look for the money God was telling me about. I reached the toilet and closed myself in. I'm very sure no one was seeing. I didn't want people to think I was crazy. I unzipped my bag. And after opening the bag, I had 80,000 shillings, Kenyan shillings. 10,000 notes, eight of them. And that was 80,000. No, come on in, come on. Meaning I could feed, have a hotel I want, and then come back. I came back very fine. And I asked the brother to come. And I told them, they are now pastors. 
up to today. They told me that up to today they use that testimony. I told them, you know, you bought me tea because I didn't have money. You asked why I wasn't eating. And I told you I didn't have any money. And you are devising means of how to share the room with me. God has been telling me that there is money in my bag. But I thought it's just my money. But when I checked, this is the money. Kenyan shillings. I'd never gone to Kenya, but the money that I had in that I had in my luggage was Kenyan. And I told the brother that bought me. Tea, I want to pay you. I want to pay for you three days that you spend in the hotel. Because of what you did for me, you bought for me tea. We went to the hotel. The assemblies of God, Kenya. The assemblies of God. Hotel, the assemblies of God. The hotel series of God. The assemblies of God. Okay, it was of the assemblies of God. Ministry. Of where is that? Uh -huh. Uh, assemblies of God is a ministry. In assemblies Kenya. of God. Glory of Christ ministry. Yes, assemblies of God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I was given a room. I told you that I bought my straight shirt. Of 1,500. It's one of the shirts that I had to put on. To show that I had something. And I bought a black trouser. That was for Easter and Christmas. But I took it to Kenya. You know when you're going to such places, you put on your best. With my 500 shilling tie. To me it was so precious. Uh, I decided to hang that shirt and other shirts. But something that is precious is precious. I got my black trouser that was so precious to me. And I hanged it. Now when I hanged it, 1,000 not came out of the bag, uh, out of the pocket. And it fell. So I was like, I looked 1,000 in the bag. 1,000. How come it was there? I got down to pick the notes. And another note fell. And another 1,000 note. And another 1,000 note. And another 1,000 I started picking the notes. And then... 10,000. 10,000 notes. And then money poured down like rain. And then lastly, a bundle fell down. That is when I shouted. I made a loud alarm. The caretakers and brothers ran to find out what was happening. They said, what has happened? I told them, see, money was all over the floor. And one bundle. Katonda. God. If he wants to do something, Katonda. God. When he decides to do something, Katonda wa Israeli. The God of Israel. Katonda wa Yakobo. The God of Jacob. Bessim ya Mwesiga. Blessed are those who trust Bless in him. him. Blessed are those who trust in him. He's able to do wonders. Abamia, those two men. I forgot their names, but one of them pastors in Chengera. I found him two years back. 
Ochario. And he said, you're still there. You're still ministering. And he said, your testimony changed my life. Now I'm a pastor. I preach the gospel. And I talk about the promises of God. According to what I say. Money all over the floor. Hey! May God do it today. And to you who are tired. And to you who are worried. And to you who are hopeless. For the spirit of the Lord is upon me. And he has anointed me. To speak good news. That the Lord is still saving. That the Lord still does miracles. To deliver the captives. To set to those in prisons of fear to come out. What are you afraid of? What has made you anxious? What has exalted itself? I want you to show me your Goliath. Goliath is standing before you. What mountain is exalting itself before you? God says the Lord. Who are you? Before my servant. Yay! Let me finish with this. And the Lord says, To proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all who mourn in Zion. Listen. Listen. To declare the year of God is favor and to provide for those who grieve in Zion to bestow unto them a crown of beauty. Clap if you are to clap. Listen to what the Lord is saying. To, to declare peace and to those who grieve and those who are oppressed to provide. May God provide those who did not want to do. You, you. You have areas of Maybe you don't know what to do about your job. The God of Abraham. The God who sent me. The God who told me that on this mountain. That this will be his mountain. May he make this word come to pass in your life. That you may confirm. Rima kasa kanta raba kaha. Ulira, ulira, ulira. Listen. Ulira wagamba. To what he says. Ntia wano ndio kemba mba zengule. Eyo bulunji mchifochevu. That to bestow unto you a crown of beauty instead of ashes. Oba devu. Where there was ashes. You know when you're worried and anxious. When you're fearful. And you have a lot of thoughts. And you feel oppressed. The body uh, ceases to produce oil. And it produces ash. But listen to what the Lord is saying. That I will bestow unto you a crown of joy. That would take away the ashes. You know when the Lord begins to make you glad. When he gives you hope. And you see him doing things. You who are worried cease to marry. You are filled with ashes start to look good. May God do it. 
Let he do it for you. In the name of Jesus. Son of the living God. Listen to this last. He says. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Instead of ashes, the oil of gladness. And instead of mourning, a garment of praise. Uh, what's the claiming of the two? Amen. May God take away that crown of that, that garment of sorrow and give you this crown of peace and joy. Agambien tindio kemba we e chambale choku tendereza muchi focho kuchoku nakuwala. A garment of praise instead of the spirit of this pair. I won't know about your keba yitibwe mi tie jobu tu kirif. Then there will be called ox of righteousness. H C H H Tonde. Echakatonda over H the planting of the Lord Chimurugan, the planting of the Lord. H H Simbe. I've given you my testimony as in the Lord to isn't he glorified? Now, Mukama Chia Gambiachu. That is what God is saying. That whatever you've been going through, big and accurate Laban Tokuaita, H. 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 Simbe, H. O. I mean, H. T. J. Wakatonda. It will make people call you ox of righteousness. H. Simbe, Mukama Chia Simbira. Amen. Kuruichi T. Watch. For his glory. Now stand up on your feet. Stand up on your feet. It is the message God gave me. Everyone has perceived it in their own way. God has spoken to everyone in his own way. One thing that I know. Prepare yourself for the reign of God. Prepare yourselves for the word of the Lord as released. He sent his word and it healed. He sends his word and it takes away sorrow. It has healed you from fear. It has healed you from anxiety. It has healed you from all the troubles of life. It has brought upon the goodness of God. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The God of all nations. Who has sustained you in COVID when people were dying left and right? He has not let you suffer. He has led this before a time. But he will exalt himself in you. People yet to come to you to drink water. In the name of Jesus Christ. Take our guru emi konojio. Put up your hands. Awatari impaka. Without being coerced. Ogambenti ayi mukama. And say, Oh Lord. Nzizemu masogo. I've come before you. Echi gambo chochi tumie. You've sent your word. Chize jendi. It has come to me. Mbade ni nembe la jempitamu. I was going through something. O tumie echi gambo. But you've sent your to deliver me. Now you know what you're going through. Speak it out loud. Speak it out to the Lord. It's your situation. You're under my feet. The Lord has promised. But in place of sorrow, you will have joy. But instead of a garment of mourning, you have a garment of praise. I will just be testifying. 
Let God will be glorified in the name of Jesus Son of the living God. May God enlarge you. May God prosper you. May God lift you up. The word of the Lord is breaking rocks. Is breaking mountains. It is paving the way. The word of God is hitting all the obstacles. It is hitting all the obstacles that are standing before you. The word of God is breaking all the gates that work laws. Right now they are being opened. The word of the Lord is causing people that I couldn't reach to be able to reach them. God is sending people that you didn't know that will come to you to help you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we come against forces of darkness. We come against evil forces. We come against the works of the enemy. Diseases. Failures. Sorrow. We break them in the name of Jesus. Son of the living God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I hear testimonies. I hear a voice saying, Look at the testimonies. I hear a voice saying, Behold the glory of God. I hear a voice of many waters. Of waters, of things of God. Because God is saying, Behold a divine visitation coming back to Zion. God is visiting. He's coming against whatever has been coming against you. God is punishing whatever has been punishing you. Because the devil is coming to destroy you. Because the devil is coming to destroy you. Because the devil is coming Yes, Lord. God is healing the sick. God is restoring the broken heart. God is serving people right now. Thank you, Jesus. I hear a voice. I hear voices of many waters. For new things that come. God is doing something new. What your eyes have not seen. What your ears have not heard. Behold, the hand of the Lord is doing great things. God is tearing up hearts of men and women. He's visiting them in dreams and dreams. He's visiting them at their workplaces. He's visiting them in their homes. May God bless you. Get ready for the testimonies now. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me to proclaim the good news. To speak the word that is going to change the world. To speak the word of the Lord. To speak the word of the Lord. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me to proclaim freedom. Freedom for the captives. So that those who have been in prison may be set free. Because of what the Lord is doing. In your lives. In your lives. In 
in your lives. In your lives. In your lives. The Spirit of the Lord is in your midst. Is setting you free. The Spirit of the Lord is visiting your home. Is visiting you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I see the hand of God. I see the hand of God. The hand that is writing is writing in our midst. Behold the new beginning. Now listen, church. Listen what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. You are entering into a season where I will be effortless you are going to enter into things effortlessly listen to what the voice of God is saying the time has come says the spirit this is the time of God when your people will go to places without being opposed they will get things effortlessly. Yes, Tabula, Simon, you know what you are Come Mubatizwe wansu wa mani. Be baptized in power. Mubatizwe wansu wa mafuta. Be baptized under the anointing. Wansu wa manga katonda. Be baptized in the power of God. Mubatizwe. Be baptized. Wansu wa kubera kwa Kristu. Under the presence of Christ. Wansu wa rinyeri ya Yesu. Under the name of Jesus. Katonda kule wenziji. May God open up doors. Katonda abasanyu se. May God make you glad. Katonda abagaziye. May God enlarge you. Katonda abasanyu. May God lift you up. Mubajeyo, when we have a moment to have good day, we must join the mass. Tembale ka kuri ni bawaasi. Awa baden wa de mumbuto mwe mbute zaza zuma. Le kamu kama ba wanye. Pain in the abdomen. May God take away all the stomach aches. May the hand of the Lord go there. All those diseases are being healed. The backs are being healed. Cancer are leaving. Covert is fleeing. Tears are drying. In the name of Jesus. Simon, please you come. In the name of Jesus Christ. Son of the living God. Yes. Yes. yes, we give you glory. We give you glory. 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 Holy Ghost. Let them be filled with your Holy Spirit. The Lord is touching on that lady, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise. 
I give you praise, Lord. I give you praise. Oh, why do you kill so no to catch you no cover? Why do you cry? I'm a ziga no gun and duck car. Better now, see what you did. Kalejango, Romoy Wakungo Baga, Murina, yes, Christo Mana Wakatondo Mramo, Nagira Guamania gets Zikiza. Njogera Jori, Murina, yes, Christo Mana Kondo Mramo, or Moyo and Yiki. Tagenda kudamu kukaba maziga. Tagenda kudamu. Ana gumo mutima. Ana gumo mutima. Muri nyari ya Yesu Kristo. Ta atakatono wechi samukuano. Weba do webi ama geru weba de. Weba de kubango mchusa. Weba la manja katonda. Weba la mafuta katonda. Weba de. Weba lo muloko. Ah. Ah la ba mukamu mubatiza. O mubatiza. O mubatiza. O mubatiza ne sanyu. O mubatiza ne sanyu. Kubanga bifao. Thank you Jehovah. Thank you Lord. Thank you Holy Spirit. Thank you sweet Jesus. Thank you Jehovah. Thank you Lord. Be anointed my daughter. Be anointed my daughter. Msumba Simon Jangma Begaono. Be anointed my daughter. Be anointed. Be anointed. Touch. Thank you sweet Jesus. Be anointed my daughter. Be anointed, 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 be anointed. Thank you, sweet Jesus. Musumba Simon Gabwa Sabirabano, Katumarize, Mokama Yeva Zue, Mokama Yeva Zue. Hallelujah. Katikwa de Chuwa Yocho. Let hold of your offering. We waka Mokama Boyampa Dovawa. That's the message God gave me for you. When you go back home, get Isaiah 61 from verse 1. Jesome, read it. Jesabirem. Pray in it. Claim those words. And walk in them. You will see what the Lord will do in your life. You see what God will do in your life. Now get hold of your offertory. I know that you've been missing giving. Amen. Kakati to Gamanti Nasanze Nava Nobama or Kupainting Ah Bobanga to Bad. I found when the church was painted. Njakusava Bambi. I request you. Njakusava Okorechi. O Koregundi. Now we're contributing at our painting our way. Kali kwa dechi mweche kumi chuo bwa yo or esendo baza kupaintinga ujuzite kaka. Let your tithe, your offering. Bobanga wa vau wanonga we ya masendo za tarazo katu sanzo ba umaze. If you are late for the tarazo. Togamba bugambi, togamba bugambi mumpe wan. Togo togamba bugambi nti, togamba bugambi nti akasa biagua neda. Don't say that it's done. Bobanga we ya ma. Bobanga we ya ma le kamuka machikole. You pledged, fulfilled your pledges. God, I thank you for your grace.